Well, it is critical right now to stay informed about COVID-19 and the latest measures in place to keep you and your family safe. We know it's hard. There's a lot of uncertainty and fear. And while it's important to take care of your physical health, health you also need to take care of your mental health. Joining us now is Aisha Malik. She's a mental health expert with the World Health Organization. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. First of all, what are the main concerns you have about mental health right now, especially for people here in Canada as we are beginning to deal with the pandemic? Thanks for the question. So what we're seeing right now with COVID-19 is an increase in stress, uh, fear, worry and anxiety. And these can be fears around obtaining the virus or spreading it or indeed about getting very sick, hospitalized and even death. So these are not pleasant experiences, but we try to tell people that these are very normal, which means that they're common. So many people are likely having these fears at this time as we face danger and threat and uncertainty from COVID-19. We know anxiety disorders can often be uh, placed or can often be triggered by this lack of control. Uh, what are people who are in self-isolation right now? How can they care for their mental health? Yeah, really good question. So many of us are facing this change to our lifestyles at the moment where we're having to stay at home and um, change can bring about discomfort. So there are a few simple activities that we can do. Uh, for example, maintaining a sense of routine or developing a new routine is very important. Uh, this is particularly useful for households where there are children or indeed for many of us where we are now having to work from home. So we talk about social distancing. This means keeping a physical distance from people, but it does not mean reducing your social support. So take advantage of the many forms of communication that we have uh, to maintain your social contacts. And think about your basic needs as well. Uh, we can't understate the importance of looking after our physical health, mm. um, keeping up our activity, our diet and good sleep. And ultimately, everybody knows the things that might work for them when they're facing stress. So use what's worked for you before. Mm. Aisha Malik, we know that um, OCD and severe anxiety disorders can really be triggered uh, in a situation like this where there's so much that we can't control. How do you stay informed, but also make sure that you're not triggering, triggering yourself at the same time? Yeah, excellent point. Uh, people with existing mental health or substance use difficulties at the moment may be facing the potential for relapse. So how do we make sure that we uh, don't feel stressed by this. One thing that we're advo advocating that is if you are finding that you find news distressing or is increasing your worry um, or anxiety at this time, we can minimize how much contact that we're having with the information that we find distressing. So this could be, for example, just minimizing the news to one to two times per day and just staying in touch with the facts as you need to from the trusted sources. And ultimately and importantly, ensuring that you're in touch with your provider if you're experiencing um, a worsening of your symptoms. Yeah, many therapists have decided to take some of their practices online for such a time as this. Thanks so much for joining mm -hmm. us this morning. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.